Topping tonight's prime news, it's a free-for-all in restricted U.S. airspace. Less than a week after the White House orders a too little, too late shootdown of the Chinese spy balloon that swept our country for intelligence, another object is spotted in our skies last night. This afternoon, the military shot the object down, which was the size of a small car and flying in territorial waters over Alaska. The details are few and far between right now, as usual. Now, apparently, this object was flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flights. An F-22 fighter aircraft used a missile to shoot down the object, which the White House insists does not resemble the Chinese spy balloon. Rather, it's cylindrical and silver gray. The Pentagon claims the capabilities, purpose, and origin of this object remain unknown. Now, what's also apparently unknown to this brilliant administration is how the heck these foreign objects are even crossing into restricted U.S. airspace undetected in the first place. Isn't there a concern that these objects, that the object and the balloon, were both discovered when they're already flying over U.S. airspace? Should they be detected before they enter the U.S.? I think we're going to continue to learn a lot about um, how uh, how these things are uh, or can be detected in a better way. Well, other nations are taking advantage of our weakness, weakness brought on by a lost and disoriented commander in chief. The mere image of Joe Biden's confusion is a national security threat. We're watching the ramifications of this in real time. China had no fear sending a massive spy craft to traverse the entire continental United States, and it paid off for them an entire week to gather whatever information they needed. That sheer neglect from Joe Biden paired with comments like this is sending a message to our adversaries that we are feeble and we are vulnerable. Wasn't it a major security breach for the United States, just the fact that the balloon came into the airspace no. and flew over the country for so many days? No, look, <laughs> the total amount of um, intelligence gathering that's going on by every country around the world is overwhelming. And the idea that a balloon could traverse, uh, break American airspace is, uh, anyway, it's, it's not a major breach. So to get the administration's story straight, they waited a whole week to shoot down the Chinese spy balloon, which they knew had major surveillance capabilities. But they shot this object down within a day, even though they claim they have no idea what it was. I said it last week, folks, and I will say it again. None of this, none of it would be happening if President Trump were commander in chief. I'd like to welcome somebody who knows what goes on behind the scenes in decisions like these, former Combat Air Force Commander, retired Brigadier General Blaine Holt. General, welcome to the program. It's good to see you on this Friday night. Obviously, uh, a lot of news today, um, but first and foremost, the Pentagon detected this object over Alaska last night, uh, but they needed Biden's authorization to shoot it down, um, which only you know happened this afternoon. Is such a delay normal? Well, good evening, Jen. It's great to be with you this evening. No, you've nailed it on the head. None, none of this is normal. None of uh, and the balloon, I'm certain, was seen well before it it came into our airspace or came into our ocean zones. Um, you know, the messaging out of the administration last week and this week, it's conflicted. It's not congruent. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. None of the excuses really make sense. But what we can tell is that we've got a very dangerous adversary out there who is probing testing us and maybe setting us up for a lot more. And what I hope that our military leaders are doing tonight is they're assessing at the strategic levels what exactly Chinese strategic intent is towards our nation right now and what we should be prepared for in the following days. You know, General, you, you say that there's somebody out there that's testing us. We saw this balloon go across the United States. Uh, no problem. Wasn't shot down until it was off the coast of the United States and, and gone across the entire continent. Um, you know, what do you what do you think the likelihood is? Obviously, we don't know anything yet, but that this object is of Chinese origin. I, I think it's a pretty good guess. Um, it's going to have to stay speculative until they confirm that. They should be able to confirm it very soon. Um, we'll probably find out it's a balloon. But what bothers me about this is it has it seems to be that it had a different payload type package than the last one. If the last one was truly a spy uh, apparatus designed to intercept signals and stuff. This one was characterized as like a same size as a small car. So what was it carrying? And what was this one's intent? And then, you know, I mean, are we ready for an onslaught of these things? What if they launch 400 balloons? 
Um, you know, I worry about electromagnetic pulses. Uh, I worry about uh, chemical, biological weapons. And, and so I think it's very loose rhetoric when you say, oh, we know this is no threat to the United States or breach. Um, that's not the attitude the American people expect uh, of our national security leaders. In general, you know, the Pentagon, obviously, they spoke to the press today and, and claimed to know nothing, next to nothing, really, about this object. Listen to how that went down. We have no further details about the object at this time, including any description of its capabilities, purpose, or origin. The object was about the size of a small car. You know, in your experience as a former Air Force commander, is it common practice to shoot down an object without essentially knowing anything about it? Or is, do you think there's more to this than they're letting on at this point? Yeah, I think there's a lot more to this. And I will be kind in some measures. We, there are there are probably things they have learned already about these two things that are are going to have to be national security secrets. But the way that they're giving us the things that we can have, they, they conflict with each other. Their rationale for sh letting the last balloon cross the entire country um, is in direct conflict with what their rationale would be for shooting this one down. Are you kidding me? It, in the 40,000 foot altitude regime, uh, there's a hazard to air traffic? No, no. There's And there's no air traffic flying around there anyway. Commercial airliners can be rerouted. So th their, their answers have to be credible. They have to go, oh, that's reasonable. That checks out. That's fine. Uh, but that's not what's happening. And it makes us nervous because we're placing a lot of trust in these folks to make sure that others are not coming and that we're all over this in terms of protecting our airspace.